Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike835 again, bring you something really, really different. As you see here, you guys are always used to me doing G-Shock review and unboxing. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm making a little change here, specifically on this watch. As you guys know, I mainly only review G-Shock and been very loyal to the brand. But sometimes I decided that uh, I want to try something different. So. Um, I wanted to give you a nice review, although I'm not a, a pro at this brand or what these watches have uh, to feature in entirety. I will try my best to give you a nice, honest review. And without further ado, let's just pop a top like Mike 835 can do and we'll see what we have for you today. As you're seeing here uh, with this nice uh, box that it comes in, included with the nice leatherette pillow. Let me get this out of here for you guys. The model of this watch that you're seeing here, guys, is the reference SKZ251K1, as you're seeing here. It's a um, 7S36 automatic movement with 23 joules. It's, of course, a nice diver's watch. And this watch uh, caught my eye because it has a very unique design. And before I get started on all the features that this watch has to offer, I would like to show you what the loom looks like. If you guys don't know what the term uh, loom means uh, for your G-Shock guys and uh, digital watch guys, uh, it's basically the light, but without you having to press a button, it's built into the face of the watch. If you guys look closely, it's the paint all around the inner side of the watch so let's just turn the light off for a second to give you an idea what this looks like and it has a very beautiful loom as you're seeing here very bright I actually have a secondary light on at the, set, at the moment while I'm doing this video but as you can see it's a very bright loom um, if I w wouldn't have any lights on at all it would be insanely bright as you see here uh, it's, it's a very beautiful loom and something that I really like on this watch. So let's just turn the light back on and see what we have here. And um, yeah, if, if you guys are wondering, there's two versions of this watch. There's the K1 at the end and then there's another model uh, which is the same. But instead of the K1, we have a J1. That means the J1 means that it was a... Uh, uh, released in Japan. I usually have it here down here somewhere in the face saying uh, made in Japan. Uh, this one is the K1 and um, it's just fine and dandy with me. As you're seeing here the band on this watch is all stainless steel as you're seeing here very nice looking. Very nice. And uh, the only thing that's plastic is this shroud that goes around the watch. It's pretty much to protect the uh, bezel of this uh, particular uh, Seiko watch and um, if if uh, you don't know much about Seiko, Seiko has been a hundred years making a diver's watch so they've definitely been around a long time. Uh, they're known to make uh, very quality watches and you know they have various uh, price ranges. There's from uh, three four hundred dollars to I'm sure um, as much money as you want to spend for something very high-end um, so that's just a point that um, if you didn't know about uh, Seiko, they've been a long, long time around. And um, let me continue with my uh, video review and unboxing. As you see here, it has a very smooth bezel. As you see here, very accurate. You can set it how you like. Of course, I like it on Q right here. Very nice. And as you're seeing here, let me zoom in so I can show you something. If you're seeing the hand for the seconds, if you're noticing it's sweeping, it's not uh, ticking uh, like a quartz watch because this watch in particular is an automatic and uh, automatics, uh, you have no need to wind them. Um, they are simply mechanical. It has no battery inside. It works uh, with a movement of your wrist. Uh, the only downfall to these guys is that if you don't wear the watch for a few days, you may need to pull the crown out, which is this nice bolt right here, and um, set the time and date. 
Uh, so it's not such a big deal, uh, but just the uh, sheer uh, niceness of an automatic. It has no battery. It's a, like you say, a green watch. Um, no battery needed, no solar, none of that. Works purely on the movement of the wrist. So that, in my opinion, is spectacular. And um, if you guys didn't know, uh, on a quartz watch, um, it's usually 10 uh, minus, uh, give or take minus 10 seconds plus minus per month. Well, it's totally different on an automatic is plus 10 seconds per day. Uh, so that's something you have to keep in mind. Of course, this uh, watch is uh, 200 meters and it's a certified diver's watch. And um, honestly, it's, it's not too big. I'm gonna put it on my wrist here for a second. If you give me just one second so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I have about a seven, seven and a half inch wrist, so I think it's a nice size. Um, let me zoom out here for you guys. You know, it's not too big, but it has nice wrist presence. Um, I recently uh, got this watch today and uh, just uh, going to a few stores around town. Um, you know, definitely it's a watch that it's not too huge, uh, but definitely uh, people notice it on your wrist. So um, that's a big plus in my opinion. It's a nice looking watch. Um, very nice and um, I'm glad to have made the decision of uh, picking up something a little bit different than the Casio G-Shock. Um, I know that all I review is Casio G-Shock but yeah it was pretty much I felt like something um, you know try something new so can't go too bad with it and uh, you know nice looking divers watches um, water resistance it has um, automatic and of course it has the date and day feature which is very excellent. If you guys see here, why is it called uh, Psych uh, Seiko 5? It's because um, back when the company started, uh, those were the five uh, key elements to um, an automatic diver's watch, which was uh, water resistant, shock resistant, uh, and day and date. So yeah, it, this is a very popular model. If you guys, uh, would look on uh, watch forums like Watch You Seek, and if you look on this watch, uh, if you do a Google search and just put the Seiko uh, Frank Franken Monster, it's called Franken Monster because it's a pretty uh, large diver's watch and it has this big old bolt coming off from the side. So um, that's this is the uh, known to the Seiko aficionados as the the Franken Monster. Uh, they have a lot of nice color combinations. I may just take this band off and throw a nice black NATO on it. I'm sure it'll look very nice. Uh, just tell me uh, what you like in this watch in, uh, in the comment box below. I'm gonna show you the loom one last time because it's my favorite part. It's just awesome. Just look at that. Um, very nice. Something that you can wear um, a nice suit or casual. If you're, um, so I would recommend it to, you know, Casio guys that um, want to try something a little bit different uh, without spending um, an arm and a leg. I would try one of these Seiko Monsters. It's a really nice watch. It's a nice size, as you see here. And a lot of options. I still haven't taken out um, the back sticker on this particular watch. But as you see here, it's a screw back design with a tsunami on it. So it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, I really do appreciate for you watching my video. Um, I tried something new. Um, so right now, I'm actually enjoying this product. It's something totally different and out of my range. But hey, um, sometimes you gotta step out of the step out of the box and try something new. So, you guys, uh, if you guys are watching this video to make a decision, this is the yellow Franken Monster. I hope uh, my video. Uh, could put somebody over the fence in their decision of purchasing or not purchasing this watch. So that was just my point of this video. And for their, my buddy haggling me, uh, pretty much saying that I would not do this video review and unboxing, you know who you are. And guess what, man, I did it. No shame. No shame having no shame having a collection of G-Shocks and having another watch or two. No big deal. I mean, why not? If you got them, use them. So again, Thanks for watching. It's been Mike Eight Three Five bringing you a video review unboxing on the Seiko Franken Monster Yellow. Thanks for watching and take care, guys.